mean, I think that, you know, for us, Kenosha, Wisconsin, it's not a huge community and to be recognized, you know, as doing, we're trying to do a lot of innovative things here. Um, it's fun for us as a plant and just for the staff here to get recognized too, so. It was a series of centrifuges, two thickening centrifuges, one dewatering centrifuge, um, a dryer, a compact belt dryer, two CHP units, uh, biogas conditioning, and we went to a high solids anaerobic digestion process with uh, mechanical hydraulic mixing, um, as well as kind of a robust odor control. And then one of the new processes that uh, really made this all possible is the Pondus thermochemical hydrolysis process. The waste activated sludge stream is the more difficult sludge stream to digest in the anaerobic digestion process. So by putting it through the therm thermochemical hydrolysis process, it allows those cell walls to be broken apart to make it more readily digestible in the digestion. Um, so by adding a little bit of caustic soda, um, as well as heat to that flow stream, the thick and waste activated sludge, it allows that to release some of those, um, I guess, energy benefits downstream in the digestion process, mainly the uh, increased biogas production, as well as some of the thermal efficiencies later on as par part of that uh, mixing with the primary thickened sludge. With the waste activated sludge um, going through the Ponda system, it really changes the viscosity of the sludge. So we like to say that when the sludge comes thickened from the centrifuge, it is like um, uh, chocolate pudding. And then once it goes through the Pondus reactor, it comes out as a chocolate milkshake. Um, obviously that was the main driver behind this. We had some aging infrastructure as well as uh, new processes and equipment that was out since our last major plant upgrade in the 80s. So that was the one major driving force behind it was the financial side of things. So by um, achieving that Class A designation, it allows us to uh, reduce our tipping fees and uh, reduce the amount of volume we're taking up in the local landfill. Um, also by producing that thermal electrical energy, it reduces the amount of energy we need to uh, we need to purchase from the local utility, again making it for us more efficient as well as reducing um, operating costs which overall gets reflected in our rates to our customers. Yeah. How was everything received by the people of Kenosha? It was good. Um, you know, prior to that, we, one of the really drivers of doing that I think is because we were having some odor complaints and we really just wanted to educate people in the community about what we're trying to do here and you know how big of an operation this is. I think a lot of times you know people flush the toilet and they really don't think about what happens after that. And we've had a public tour here about a month or a couple months ago and it was very well received and um, I think we're going in a really good direction as far as odor control is concerned. Yeah.